Hey there is welcome to another support video and we are going to be playing Janna again. This is the second Janna video that we're going to be doing. We have covered a full Max W semi kind of AP Janna already. Um, this video we are going to be doing, um, if you watched like the, until the end of the last video, we're going to be doing some tweaks to the previous build. So I want to try a build where we get like three points in W then max E, then put two more points in W, and then max Q. Um, we've changed the runes uh, accordingly as well. Um, we are up against a Blitzcrank Seraphine, which is kind of pokey, and it's going to be difficult to land W anyway, and it looks like we have given first bud. Fantastic. Um, to the Jack, so that's even better. <laughs> have fun with that, Gragas. And, um, yeah, we've gone into Airy instead of Comet. Uh, we've got, instead of Scorch, we've got um, Gathering Storm, and we've got Eyeballs instead of uh, Taste of Bud. So a couple of different rune changes there. Some of the changes, well, Ignite for, to Exhaust, mainly, I mean, it's probably a good thing, but the Jax and the Cat, going to need to put Exhaust on either one of them, probably the Jax. We can interrupt the Cat quite nicely with our Q or our Ultimate to interrupt our ult too. So we'll still try and poke with W. Luckily, Blitz has to go into melee range. Item build will probably be, be something similar, though, to the last game where we went CDR boots into Shiridias into Staff of Flowing Water. I imagine it will be something vaguely like that. I would like to contest level 2 here. I don't want to give that for free, and I don't see why we should. It's not like Blitzcrank is helping much on the way. Can you not run away like this, please? Alright, that's Blitzcrank's passive pop. Alright. Had to take Q level 2 there instead of E just to kind of... Out kite them a bit there. Okay, Varus is already like nearly dead. That's bad. That's not very healthy. Varus also went cleanse into this lane. I'm not really sure why. So he doesn't actually have a combat summoner. He can instantly cleanse the Ignite, but that's basically it down here. I guess he can cleanse Seraphine ulti, actually. Um, okay, I'll give him some credit for that, maybe, but I don't know. In the actual early laning part here, we've kind of got a dead summoner on this Varus. Um, I mean, I want to link up the recall timings with the Varus here, but I don't know if this is a good time to recall. Okay. Let's give that Pantheon a quick shield. Oh. You can't contest for Scuttle, my dude, when your bot lane aren't there. We didn't have any bot lane or mid lane pressure. Like, our mid laner had died. We recalled from bot. He doesn't have any priority going for that scuttle. He shouldn't even be allowed to look into that river. So yeah, it's already going to be a rough game. Hey, Flora. Have me finding the new Janna. It's, um... It's different. I think it does encourage... To be more aggressive for sure, it's just it's, if is the aggressiveness worth it? That's what we're really trying to find out right now. And hey Jenny on kick, how am I doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you doing? Please don't mention Discord. <laughs> um Okay, we've got our team's got our first kill. Alright, we're going to do three points in W and then move on from that. Do I stream daily? I stream pretty much every single day, yeah. 
Okay, Blitz is top. Can we? We gotta punish this. We have to. Good. Alright, as soon as I saw the bit screen was taught, we had to do something down here. By the way, I was looking around and came across your stream and maybe I can help you out with kick custom graphics even more. No, it's okay, thanks. I don't really have any viewers on kick right now, so... I'm not, this kick isn't like my primary focus right now. But thank you very much for the offer. Don't really have much to recall for here though. Don't hope I get hooked. We are good. Uh, would you like to check out some of my previous work? Uh, no, it's okay. Um, I'm not really looking for an artist or anything like that at the moment, but I appreciate the... Uh... Ooh, that jack's slipping away there. But yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, Gamer Pro, can I please do the troll brom sticker? Oh yeah, sure. We can do a Brom W. It's a good amount. So yeah, Blitz is going to be moving around a little bit. We can try and contest with that with roaming, but our lanes aren't doing that great, so... Alright, three points in W. Oh wow. They were wanting to set up the mutants, probably Jarvins and Dragon then. Yeah. Try and push in this lane quickly so we don't get punished too much, but it's going looking like he's coming down now. Okay, Cat is in our jungle top side. Cat's now on three kills. Very cool. Cat's now on four kills. Really cool. Uh, uh, um. Okay. Nothing else I could do there. Java and all. I interrupted the Java and e uh, EQ, but. Jarvin is lurking around here. In um. Yeah, I did what I could in terms of stopping that Jarvin and getting to the virus, but there's only so much I can do. By the way, you're going to try Dark Seal this game. I won't this game because it's going so bad already. So it's likely that I'm going to die to some sort of roam from someone. If that makes sense. Like, I don't see myself staying, like, deathless at all. We got a Herald, which is something, but they yeah, were obviously got problems still. I could try looking at rotating, but I don't know how I can help a 0 3 Pantheon. It seems extremely unlikely that anything good will come from that. I will path the mid here now, just for a little bit. Maybe try and get a control on bot side of river or something, but. I don't know. Well, yeah. Just delay this cat's recall a little bit. <laughs> I 
Okay. I mean, I think he could have maybe looked uh, all thing a bit deeper than that, but yeah. It's gonna come. Okay. Never mind. Okay. I was kind of worried my Q was gonna get that kill. That would have not been ideal. Can you guys kill him? That'd be good, right? Yeah, I would have rather ye have the kill to be honest, but okay. I don't actually have much to offer here. I can put a ward in this brush and then recall. I guess technically me being here helps Varus in a way, gives him some movement speed to run away back from here, but. Varus and Seraphine have just been kind of free farming it out. As you wish. Um, yeah, just gonna let this Var like walk near this Varus so that he can get this um, movement speed buff into lane. Which champion are you gonna play more when there is no mythic items anymore? Uh, I don't know. I haven't. Uh, whatever's good. <laughs> and one of the things I was saying, like Nami, would be quite interesting. Oh, triple kill on Yi, that's huge, actually. Um, I think Nami will have quite a lot of item. Like, if the mythics, are, if the mythics are gonna stay in the game, but just have the mythic title removed, then I think Nami has a strong case to be quite well because you can go like Echo Zahelia and you know like benefit from the shirt it's just you can go all the mythic items really with an Imperial Mandate kind of fun okay so we're getting a lot of free farm here it's a chance we could get first turret which would be pretty good I was going to say we can just... Oh. I'm going to have to... He was looking to hook me. He'd saved his hook. Oh, come on. What? Uh, I tried to try to juke him out there, but um, yeah, there's a ward in the brush apparently, or something here. Just wanted to get a ward in the river so that we could see where the Javan was going to go after doing the dragon. I bet yet. It's not my favorite champion. Yeah, she's not very good right now though. She's okay, but she definitely needs a bit of a buff, but. Uh... I understand why they're not there, because she did have a little bit of spotlight, <laughs> but I don't know. It would be nice to see her get a little bit more buffs. Yeah, it was just that ward in the brush then. Yeah, that ward's been there for longer than three minutes. Okay. Okay, cat's moving towards this way. I'm not going to keep going that way. Oh, what's the hell, dude? Okay, we just got no control of anything here then in the river. It's not even possible for me to even ward the river, even if though it felt, it felt relatively safe, honestly. I knew the cat was kind of coming down, but I thought she was just... I don't think she was hunting me down there like that. I 
Yeah, that back to back death feels really unlucky. Gotta still clean this up though, that's the problem. This turret is gonna go down at least. moving down okay I just had to clear out so much vision from bot side and that's all I've got to do I didn't even get to be around any XP or anything enemy team are going full crazy on vision we've got the extra cash to do so whereas my team's not able to actually do anything in that regard when does EUS get patched it's already out playing on it right now Yeah, this is good. I just... I don't want to talk about that. I exhausted the Blitzcrank. Okay. gonna die. Three kills for our team though. Okay, that helps a lot. We killed four apparently. Jack's died top as well. Okay, our team has just randomly come back into this game. Who would have thought, eh? We aced them. Well, that was, well, pretty much an ace. Yeah, what, someone's gonna die here, right? No, Blitzcrank's not going for it. Okay. I think Blitzcrank could have just gone for the hook then. Well, suddenly we've got an 8 kill ye. Um. As you wish. Yeah. It's gotta be one of the biggest throws in Serdiki history from the enemy team. There's no way we should even be remotely looking at like we could have a chance in this game from what happened in the first 10 minutes. With like the 0-5 Pantheon, the first bud going to Jax at one minute. Crazy. Okay, mm never mind, maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, I'm wasting Cat's time a little bit there. Uh, do we go back and defend or do we keep pushing and bot? That's the question. I guess the answer is, is that we go back. How does she feel, Lizzie? Um, it's too early to say right now. I feel like the suggested method of Riot saying like max W first I think is wrong. I don't think W in terms of raw power is strong enough to warrant going it. Like maxing straight away, like going three points is fine. Nice. I'm gonna, I can't. Oh! oh. I was gonna get away with it though. Got hit by the Seraphine charm, so I couldn't ulti. Jax also got. The dragon. But it looks like for me dying again, we're gonna get some kills, so I can't really complain too much. It feels bad getting in the grey screen, but our team is getting ahead because of it. I mean if Cat is just gonna focus me instead of like the Yi or the Varus, then um Yeah, then she's trolling. I don't think this is a great idea. 
Yeah, I should have pinged them back. I was thinking about pinging them back, but I didn't want to... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Alright. It all worked out. Yeah, look how quick my my E came back on off cooldown after doing a Q and a W. Just reset with the team. Didn't have to get too much, and he needed a couple of wards. Um, try and get some here on Baron. I think we can kill it pretty quickly. Just this, uh, he being pretty fed should just eat through this Baron. It's also kind of a skull here that I want to look at fighting for. Not really doing the most amount of damage to him there, are we? Yeah, I think we can just do Baron. I don't think there's any vision at it. But we shall see pretty quickly how fast they react to it. Should be ours. Okay. I hope everyone recalls at the same time here. Nope, just me. Because <laughs> the thing is, I'll come out now. These guys will farm like one wave and then they'll recall. If that happens, then it's Giga Troll, because it just means that we're wasting Baron time. So, big question the struggle of focusing a support that's buffing the whole enemy's team and killing it, or ignore the support and fight the four enemies? What's better? If there isn't anyone that on the enemy team that is Giga strong, like in our case, like the Yi is, then you you basically want to focus the, the giga fed person first, right? You gotta kill the 11 kill Yi first before you go for the Janna. Because if you focus all your resources getting the Janna here, it's just, they're just gonna, the Yi's just gonna get to do whatever he likes. And by the time you killed that Janna, the, the Yi's already killed too. And by the time you switch to the, the Yi after killing the Janna, he's already killed your whole team. So it's, um, yeah, you have to sometimes just focus the Giga Fed target. If it's very fairly balanced kind of game and no one on the enemy team is looking like the Giga OP strong, then, um, I'm so screwed here though. My Q's on the ground. But we don't have the people here for that. Gragas is top and Varus is mid. Yeah. try comment like the good old days. We tried to comment in the last game. This is the second Janna game and I didn't like the amount of damage that was coming from W maxing five points and trying to harass it a bit early. I don't think it warrants an arcing comment. I think it's too kind of greedy. It might make good content for like a YouTube video if it ends up like paying off. In terms of like, you know, Luden's Janna, which I'm sure someone will probably make, right? Okay. 
Comet is less rewarding after the nerfs. Yeah, Comet in, in particular did get nerfed. Dark Heart of this got nerfed. Airy damage got nerfed as well. So... It's not as good as it used to be, that's for sure. Can we farm this wave here too? Bring his minions over. I mean, I'm I could just ult my team here. Okay, never mind. That's not happening anymore. Then. You think Relentless Hunter might be a main gen rune? Yeah, I kind of like these runes. The the eyeballs instead of Taste of Bud, I think is better. Relentless Hunter feels quite nice. Especially when you need to roam around a bit too. Does building Zonyas as last item in Janna work? Yeah, but it's quite expensive and it sounds like you probably wouldn't even be able to complete it the majority of the games anyway. Janna's probably the champion that needs Zonyas the least though, I would say. She is generally a pretty safe champion in terms of dealing with engages and stuff. Usually the enchanters don't have a way to deal with that as much. Like you think about Soraka, there's nothing really stopping someone running down Soraka. Don't have my Q my ulti, sorry. Okay, I need to be protecting my back, but Should I protect the virus more there, actually? Quadra kill. Oh, Kragus took it. Yeah, that was a uh, weird one. I didn't think in a million years we would win this game. The first 10 minutes were really, really bad. Huh. I think I preferred that though. I preferred this build um, over the previous one we did with the Arcane Comet. I... It makes more sense to put three points in W and then max E. I think putting five points in W is gig agreed. By the time, if you do that, if you put five points in your W, by the time you hit, you have to hit level thirteen in order to max the shield. Um, yeah, and that just takes way too long. It takes way too long, otherwise. I mean, one of these get Janna games that we do will be more normal because it feels like uh, the last, this game and the previous one were kind of. Kind of coin flippy, but um, in terms of stomps and stuff, but I, I do prefer this three points in W, then maxing E, then putting the leftover points in W for just that extra bit of utility. Glacial Augment build, I think we might try out at some point, maybe against like a tank support, like a proper tank support, not Blitz, but like um, honestly, pretty much any other tank support. Uh, Thresh, Leona. Poppy, something like that would be better. But yeah, GG.